Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well and safe. So today, uh, the 17th of November, Apple released to developers Big Sur, uh, Mac OS Big Sur 11.1. So that was a big jump from 11.0.1, okay? Um, let's go ahead first and then we'll talk a little bit about the new things. Uh, let's go here to the final. This is the final build that you are running, possibly. And this is the 11.1 beta. Let's go to the build, build number. Let's go here to see if this is the build number. No, yeah, this one. Okay. Let's arrange this like this and like this. Let's make here a zoom. And as you can see, this is in fact, this is the final build. As you can see, no beta over here, just 11.0.1 and the build number 20B29, uh, uh, sorry. And here we have a, a huge number, okay? So 11.1. And we are talking about the build number is the 20C5048K, okay? Large number, and this K, uh, I never saw it. Uh, this is the this is the first. These are the specs of the machine, okay? So I will show you now the Geekbench. Uh, of course, I'm very enthusiastic with the new M1 chip. Seems very promising. Just to show you that till now, there isn't too much information. Um, developers can download this, of course. And uh, till now, what they are saying is likely includes performance improvement, security updates, and fixes for bugs. I know there was an article that MacBooks from uh, 2013 and 2014 were uh, not working with Mac OS Big Sur, so I don't know if this is um, a fix for that uh, computers, you know, uh, from 2013 and 2014. Now, let's go here to the final build. Let's go to the CPU over here. CPU. And this is the final build 11.0.1 and now let's go to the beta GPU not GPU CPU else I will show you the GPU also and uh, a small decrease on both okay on the single core and also on the multi core I expect, of course, higher results because this download and, and the, the installation took at least one and a half uh, hours, okay, to install on this machine. But I suppose there are some background tasks um, occurring yet, but the numbers don't lie. So we have lower results on the single core and also on... Um, uh, well, we have higher results on the multi-core score on this beta, okay? Now, let's go now to the GPU performance. Let's go to the final one, GPU, with the Geekbench 5. So, this is the 11.0.1. And now let's go to the beta, GPU. And this is the results on this new 11.1 beta. So the scores are, this is the metal, okay, metal performance. And this is, you know, slightly lower on, uh, well, slightly higher, I'm, I'm sorry, slightly higher. So some speed improvements over here on the metal score on this new build. Okay, guys? Now, this download on this machine was, let me go here, and they didn't tell much over here. So it was about 
324 gigabytes for this beta release okay so um this is you know synthetic geek bench and you know general information for you to know uh, one of the things that uh, uh, i saw is on the widgets there is a new thing that is it's uh, you know doesn't show anything but if i click it it goes to the apple news okay so they didn't uh, yet if i go here to edit widgets there isn't yet any you know the reminders are here but there isn't any calculator N not that i'm seeing i'm hoping that they put the calculator as soon as possible because that that's important to me um and but that apple news uh, this is new okay this is new and i'm of course i will edit and i don't need this i have uh, some other sources to see the news now <clears throat> let's perform here uh, I, I always like to check my uh, ssd keep in mind this is a mid 2015 macbook pro with the same ssd let's see how it performs uh, a little bit lower and on the right but it seems it seems okay it seems okay now let's go and perform a, a speed test on the web let's see if there is any decrease let me see where is speed tests over here so okay speed tests let's go and see the speed test over here yeah this is the this is the normal speed that i have on my with my internet provider a little bit lower on the uploads i don't know why it should be the same about 100 so i have other devices connected so perhaps that's that but okay yeah it's going there 100 very well now uh guys i was checking if there is anything new okay um let's go to to see some 4k videos let's go to my channel and let's see here this iphone 12 mini yeah we have 4k it is enabled don't forget you guys that are watching this for the first time if you don't have this enabled you have to go to uh, first you have to go to the system preferences if i'm not mistaken and you have to enable not not system preferences is safari preferences you go to preferences over here and on the advanced tab let me zoom over here please click show develop menu in the menu bar okay and you will be able to after checking the experimental features if you go down there is something that is called over here these two vp9 sw decoder on battery and vp9 decoder if they are not checked please check that and you will have 4k video or plus okay so a little tip i always tell this on my videos and you have in fact the 4k enabled uh, on your on your mac okay over here as you can see a little zoom there it is so safari seems to be working okay let me check if there isn't any glitch no this is my review of the iphone 12 mini and uh, uh, also the comparison between my iphone 8 um, i'll leave the link in the in the description of the video so it's working okay uh, the mail I already opened and of course for privacy reasons I will not open again let's go to the App Store there was a splash screen that appeared for privacy reasons okay so um, I, I saw that for the first time let's go to arcade uh, yeah everything seems to be fluid no issues here 
let's go I, th I think this uh, let's open Final Cut Final Cut is now with a new I'm, I'm going to zoom it's a new icon over here redesign icon icon I don't know if it, and it's not Final Cut Pro uh, 10 or X okay now it's only Final Cut Pro I believe this is because of the new uh, uh, Apple Silicon the M1 chip okay but Final Cut opens with, without any issues. It's the version 10.5, no issues whatsoever. I will test it, of course, now that I will uh, make the video and on the next one, I will tell you if everything runs well. So guys, this is it. There isn't anything new that uh, uh, I can show you. Uh, yes, there is. Let me see and you always like to see if there are any new wallpapers and there is a glitch over there as you as you saw let me open again if, if we have any problem let's go to yeah it appears that jpeg and then it appears the 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 wallpapers so a little glitch over there and if we let me zoom there there is the same thing okay guys nothing nothing new everything the wallpapers are the same okay if we go to the screensaver they also are the same nothing new over here so great people stay safe and i hope to see you on the next one bye bye